Welcome to this look at a new map to console I'm showing on PlayStation 4 on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Stone Valley. This is new to console today. Uh, this is from Lancy Boy. This is based on a real area in central Illinois in America. Um, we're going to have a look around, as we often do. Um, I'm on New Farmer. I've got it on normal mode, as I always do for my kind of map tours, look round, information sharing type situation. Um, if you are playing this on New Farmer, as I am, you start off using 795 out of 1299 slots, which seems quite high. But when you see the equipment, um, you'll understand why, and obviously that can be tweaked and adjusted for your setup. If you come onto Farm Manager and start from scratch, or start from scratch, it's still 795 because you start with all the same stuff whether you're on New Farmer, Farm Manager, or start from scratch. If you do sell everything, that drops right down to 569 slots, which I think is far more manageable, but you can still do it at 795, just have to be a bit more careful about how you organise your stuff. Um, but anyway, where are we on the map? We start pretty much in the centre. On New Farmer, what do we start with? Well, we start with Field 8 with, I suppose, what's considered to be the main farm. Your farmhouse is on there. You also start with the biogas plant. Nice touch, Lancy Boy. I like that. It's one of those things that frustrates me. We have to pay out a fortune for the biogas plant in the first place. We also start with Field 6. We do start with Field 1 down the bottom here. Um, we have farms dotted around all over the place um ones that do have animals on and then we do have the odd one knocking about that doesn't have anything on so potentially if you don't want this to be your start farm you could absolutely move around the map there are various different locations that we'll have a look at as we go around um this has 35 fields medium and large as you can see this is an american map big open fairly flat there's a few areas with some undulations it's very nice indeed um, we have two extra crop types on this we've got alfalfa and rye it's on here as lucerne but lucerne and alfalfa are interchangeable names for the same crop um, it does have a lot of custom textures it has um, custom transport missions and field missions custom lighting animated objects um, what have we got real life um, illinois fuel garage and truck stop cafe there's one of the cell points is a real life one. The store is um, an Illinois store. It's been modelled really, really well. Now the list of um, people that um, Lancy Boy thanks is long and distinguished. There are loads of people. I'm not going to read them all out. Um, have a look in the mods hub at the description, and there are loads of people that have helped out with this, with mods and assistance, and you know it's fantastic. I like it when the community all comes together like that to help people out. I think that's brilliant. It's a really nice part of it. So as far as field prices go, what are we looking at? Well, a big field like field 29, 703. Okay. A lot of them are clustered into groups, so if we go to this one here, for example, you do get 21, 20 and 23 all as one group for 305 grand, which isn't too bad when you consider the size of the fields. 28 is combined here, 461, again, not too bad with the livestock market up the top there. Um, or with a, no, that's the store, that's not the livestock market. Um, where else have we got? There was one that was really expensive, where's that one gone? There we go, 1,023,000 for that huge expanse up the top there. Three fields again combined. So prices are going to vary. The thing is with it, because you start with very large fields, and if you even if you decide I'm only going to start with one field, sell the other ones off um, and adjust things for your start. Because the fields are fairly big anyway, your crop, your harvests are going to be bigger. They're going to make you more money quicker. So the ability to afford more expensive stuff happens easier i guess but that said large fields big open american maps aren't everyone's cup of tea i know a lot of people are clamoring for maps like this i absolutely understand why um not everyone likes tight british maps with small fields and hedges and fences everywhere this is really nicely modeled i mean you, you you're in under no illusions as soon as you come on here it's an american map aside from the american flag flying um oh by the way if i don't if i don't post anything tomorrow i'm not sure if i will Happy Independence Day to all you American folks out there for tomorrow, July the 4th. 
Um, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy yourselves being separated from us for such a long time. July 4th, 1776, if my history is correct, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, regardless of all that, main farmhouse is just here. The sleep trigger is on the outside, just there, marked. Um, but you can go into the house and have a look around. I think this is the same house from Lone Oak. Looking at it, just looking at the design. Yeah, I think it is, pretty much. So you can use it, you can go in and out, but the trigger is on the outside. Loads and loads of detail. As you can see. Um, we do have a pickup. Again, we'll have a look at the equipment in a minute. We do start with the dog in a kennel. The kennel's there. Where's the dog? Oh, uh, there. Now, light switches and stuff all around the map on console. Remember, I'm playing this on PS4 or PS4 Pro. Um, so I'm showing you the, the console version of this. That's why I'm showing it today, because it's new out on console. Um, light switches are marked with these on the ground. When I first came on, I thought, oh, hang on, what, is that a trigger for something? But they're marked, so they're easier to find. Um, so there are light switches dotted around all over the place for various different light fittings and fixtures. The main yard, big and open, plenty of room. Um, I love the weather vane up on there. Fantastic. Um, loads of building space and barn space. If it's an American map, you can have a big red barn, don't you? At least one. Starting machinery, again, it's big. You don't have to start with this stuff. You can start small, build up if you want to, but there's a nice array of equipment to get you going. Lighting inside. Very bright, no problems at all with what you're going to want to see and do. Oops, I just close the door myself. Yep, let's reopen the door. One thing I have noticed, I'll be honest, in the quick look round I've done to familiarise myself with the map, sometimes the triggers can be a little bit tricky. Not always, just a couple of times I've gone up to a door and found I couldn't find the trigger and I've had to just open the help menu to help myself, but it seems to be working right now. Um, another one over the side here. Water point. This is the workshop. I should also point out that's north, east, south, and west. That direction. So there's your workshop and workshop trigger just inside there. Then in here we have got a couple more bits of machinery. I'll say I'm just finding the there we go. So we do start with a sprayer spreader and a nice big old case magnum. I can see that getting swapped out for the 2020 version potentially, but very nice indeed. Um, we have got a seed refill point just here. We don't often get them on maps anymore because a lot of the placeables that are available now, map makers don't always include them. But there is a seed refill point just there. And um, we've got a couple of, they're not actually silos, bunker silos, but they are for storage, I guess, if you want to use it for storage. If I open up my help menu, I've got my Satex side panel, or Logitech side panel, plugged into my PlayStation, so that's how I'm opening and closing the menus as I do. Nothing's coming up for compaction or fill level, so those aren't um, bunker silos in the conventional sense, but you could store crops in them if you wanted to. And we have got a main farm silo here with your loading into your trailer there and unloading from a trailer there. What I like about this as well, everything's different. The animals all on here are um, placed. You can't remove them, you can't sell them. They're all modded enclosures, um, specially made for the map, and they fit really well. Um, but what I like as well, it's not a drive-through one. You've got to back on and come back on. Now, not everyone's going to like that necessarily, but it is the way it is, and that's what I'm talking about, look, undulation. It's not all billiard table flat. We've got some sweeps and dips and stuff around the place but then you have got areas when you look across and you can see the silos in the distance now that's brilliant i like that because it does say on the mod hub um where is it i've lost it custom soil textures distance grass and ground textures often on maps that kind of distance off you're not going to see anything it's just a blur or there's other things in the way or hills or dips or whatever i like the fact you can see a long way off and you can see these things in the distance very cool um, we have got a very large 
well, bean header, crop header here, with a header trailer tucked down the side there. And in this barn, we've got two John Deere harvesters with corn headers. So that's what I'm saying about starting off. And if you want to drop that slot count down, you might not want to have John Deere's. You might not want to have two. You know, there's there are a lot of options and things you can tweak with this, which is really nice. Uh, fuel trigger just here. Um, we do have some containers of um, herbicide and liquid fertilizer. I th I, at least I think they are. They're not. Um, I don't think they're just. Hmm. Maybe they are. That. Not too sure about that actually. Another big building there. I did come over here with the um, sprayer, spreader, and I couldn't get it to refill from there. So maybe they are just aesthetic. Maybe they're not actually a, a refill. But we do have a large cultivator and we have a large subsoiler as well here at this particular farm. So while we're on the subject of that, let's have a look at what we actually start with. So like I say, 795 slots. We've got the case IH340 CVX Magnum. We've got a Lizard Road Runner. We're going to find that later on. A couple of John Deere harvesters. The Imperador, the Star Imperador 3.0 uh, spreader sprayer pickup. We've got a Wilson Pace Setter trailer. We've got the Kinsey grain cart. Regular header, two corn headers. The Horse Cruiser 12XL and the Agrisem Colty Plow Platinum 8M. We've also got the Pronto 9DC, which was in the other building too. Header trailer, weight, dog kennel. We've got two large silos at 200,000 litres each and one smaller one. So combined total of 500,000. I think it was 500,000. It's certain thing. Maybe we don't own all those yet. Um, and the house as well, that's in place. Now that can be an issue simply because most maps won't allow you to have a second um, sleep trigger. So the problem with that is because you can't sell it because you don't technically own it in your owned items... If you did want to start and have your farm somewhere else, you can't actually place a sleep trigger there, which might be a bit of an annoyance, potentially. Um, so that's all the equipment you start with. We're going to jump in the pickup, and we're going to head around the map. We're going to head north first of all, and then kind of do a, a route round. I'll try and take in everything. I, might, I hope I don't miss anything. Again, this is more about you getting a feel for the map, the environment. Um not always necessarily about where all the triggers are for everything and that kind of thing. Whoa, that's not good. Bit of a traffic jam. I do like the fact we've got a John Deere with the trailer on the back. Um, we are going left anyway here, so we'll leave the... Oh, that's not a good accident, is it? That's just completely embedded in that John Deere. Anyway, heading west, let's head out to the first of the... Um, well, this is the cell point. This is the... Hang on, memory, memory, memory. Pig farm. I just had a quick look around the map, but I haven't really... Um, yeah, I think it's the pig farm. Cemetery, just up on the little hillside there. We do have alfalfa, like I said, we alfalfa and Ryan. The alfalfa's just there on the left. I am already asking myself, is it time for an American map? I know Millennial farm, uh, Farms map is due out, but you know what? I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking it. Big building, loads of storage space here at the pig farm. Now there's always that question, again, I can't, unfortunately, on a, on a sort of map tour, look round, review type thing, I can't test every conceivable facet of a map. Um, do you need to own the farms to feed the animals and that kind of thing? I don't know. Generally speaking, if you need to own them, it doesn't always let you place animals or buy them. Um, we will have a quick look on the map though because we are currently so we've come from the main farm we've just gone up to that junction and we've headed out here so we're now here at the pig farm this plot of land to buy is 678 grand but that's kind of the field and all of this I don't think you have to own them um, to actually have the animals on them but that's what we'll check now so here's our trigger if I buy a couple of pink pigs it's allowed me to buy them, and I'm assuming they're going to be in here. So, like I say, they, it's allowed me to put them on there. As far as it goes with feeding them and the rest of it, um, our straw bedding trigger is just in here. Um, feed trigger is there, and I think the water trigger is just out here. But these are nice big enclosures as well. Plenty of space on them. 
Um, as for how many they hold, hmm, that's a good one actually, because if you go into the menu, the store menu, it just gives you the option for buying the regular um, Giants versions. Um, so I don't know what the capacities of these are without buying everything. Slurry point is just here and oh, obviously the manure point is just there. Um, capacities, hmm, doesn't actually say anywhere. But, if anyone knows, uh, drop it in the comments if you want. I mean, like I say, it might be that people have played on this on PC already for a while, or you've been on it for quite a while. Like I say, I can't, unfortunately, test everything. I haven't got enough money when I come on here on New Farmer either um, to fill up each one to see what they are. I suppose I could have come on and done that beforehand, but it's kind of more of a... First, this is, this time, actually more of a first look for me. I've, I've only had a quick kind of glance at things. So we're going to head back up to the main road, and then we're going to head north again. I may skip a couple of bits of the journey because it was, you know, there's some expanses, as you can see, um, between cell points and various different things. I will try to observe uh, the American laws of travel and stop at stop signs, but it doesn't always, not always conducive for a quick whiz round the map, is it? I'll say quick. Biogas plant is just on the left here. with a couple of um, bunker silos, digestate tank, your byproduct is that one there, and it looks like we've got a ground level tip in um, digester, which is nice, or tip in point, fill point, um, which makes stuff a lot easier. Oh no, say one, I thought it was two silos. One silo here, there is a bit of room, I suppose you might, you might get away with placing a smaller one there. Again, placing things it's always difficult to know and difficult to say. I could test it and place something here and say, yep, placing stuff on the map's no problem. And then other people find that they can't do it or other places on the map won't let them. Um, I can't throw it out there and say, yes, placeables on here is no problem. It may well be no problem whatsoever, but I've done that before and then people have come back and said, I can't place anything. The map's causing me problems, blah, blah, blah. You know, so um, it's one of those things you probably just have to have a bit of a test with and see whether things will. It's that kind of disclaimer of, you know, it's you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If I say, yeah, you can place stuff there, then I'll get people saying you can't. And if I say the other way around, you know how it, how the game's played by now. What I love is some of these openings. I've always said about getting vehicles in and out. That's like, for, that's like a space shuttle hangar entrance, isn't it? Um, so... We are at Lime Station here. Nice big building. Lime Station is around the back, but this is where the lorry you start with and the Wilson Pace Setter trailer is stored. So again, already kind of in my head, I'm thinking, you know, let's play ideas. This could be a, you know, haulage company maybe, Lime Station. The lorry's here for haulage contracts if, you know, if they want to help me, you know. My mind starts buzzing. Every time I get onto a new map to have a look around, it, it always does that. I start thinking, oh, I wonder, what could I use this for? What could I use that for? And I like it when a map does that, you know. When you come on a map and you drive around and nothing kind of jumps out at you, that always bothers me more than if, if I start going around thinking, you know, oh, wow, this would be cool, this would be cool. Unfortunately, so many good maps, you can only play, well, one or two maps maybe at a time. Um... You can't play them all, unfortunately, which would be lovely, wouldn't it? But so we're going to head west again. Farm dog's lost his mind. Well, what he's doing? So just here on the right, so we're at the northern part of the map now. We have got the livestock market and one of the barn sale points. I think there are about two or three barn sale points on here. So we've got a livestock market trigger just there. So if you want to buy um, and collect and deliver the animals yourself you can do it from here and then we've got a barn sale point just around the side there and what we do want to have a quick look at as well is on here um, at the end I was just checking on the prices for yeah straw pellets and hay pellets on here are really low as well everything seems to have tanked on there um, but like I say it does say lucerne on there and it does say dry Lucerne. So Lucerne being a grass, you treat it like a grass, you can ted it and get like a hay version of Lucerne as well. Um, and then you've got your rye there too. 
I was just wanted to check on the pellet situation, I wasn't sure. So, continuing on, a bit further out, we've got the west cell point. I'm trying to remember from looking at the map. I, I don't always like to keep going back and check on the map, but sometimes you just have to. Um, I do... Oh, wrong side of the road. <laughs> I do also like when maps are broken up with features, you know, because a map like this, you know, it could be very samey in that because it's big, open American um, map, fairly flat for most of it, big open fields, you can often get that kind of what's all a bit samey feel, but having it broken up with various different things does exactly that. It breaks everything up. So the first of the cell points, because there are two here, uh, this is Valley... I'm going to have to check. Sorry. Um, so we've come up here, past the lime station, to the animal dealer and bales, Valley Foods, I was going to say Valley Stores, but Valley Foods and West Cell Point. I was right for West Cell Point. Now, once you've done Valley Foods, you do have to come out and into the other one. You can't get through to it from here. So we are going to go out and back in. As far as using big machinery goes, you're going to have no problem on here. It's plenty of space. Obviously, the traffic may be an issue if you are going to stick religiously to the roads. Um, but I know some people will turn traffic off immediately. They don't always like having it on. So there you go. That's the west cell point just there. Big old silos and grain dryers and various different things. The other thing I will say that I have noticed, which is another reason why I just mentioned about turning traffic off, the traffic is incredibly slow. Um... I'm doing now, what, 21? If I go any faster than 21, I'm catching the traffic in front of me, which is pretty slow. I am going to overtake, simply because it'll take me forever to get round. So we're now heading east across the top of the map. You can already see the silos way off in the distance. Get another sweep down to the right. It's not all completely flat. And we are now coming up on the fuel station and diner, which are modelled on real-world Illinois truck stop diner. That's really cool. I like that. So the truck stop cell point is just around the side there, around the side of the diner, marked with hazard marks on the floor. But I think, yeah, round behind the um, the kind of fuel station truck stop itself, there's another um, workshop trigger. So if you need to stop and do a bit of repair or customise something, you're all up here. You can do it from here as well. Very cool. Cash point two. Continue on. We're going to head to the store and the north cell point. Again, if any of you watch my videos regularly, know my memory is <laughs> not always great. Weirdly, it's great for some things, and I'll remember really weird random bits of information. Other things, awful. You can already see the case vehicles look, at the back. This is a case dealership. So to our right, we've got North Cell Point, just there. And there is um, a bales like barn cell point round the other side. I love the fact, is that the grain dryers working? Look, see all the dust and stuff come off there. Through there. That's cool. So the store here is a very fancy Central Illinois Ag. Case IH dealership. That's a very fancy modern building, look. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So around the side here, we've got our buy, sell, repair, customise point just inside here. I think we can go... Actually, we can use side doors too, can't we? Yes, we can. So we've got a few here. Oh, that's never a nice sight, is it? I know when I went to um, Rickaby uh, at Carlisle, the class dealership and I went out the back in the workshops they had an Axion um, up on 
um, the stands with its front end missing. It's always a sad sight. Mind you, it's interesting to see they've got it propped on a rock. <laughs> nice. So, that's the store. Now, what I was going to check was just going to buy something fairly cheap. We'll do it from the menu here. Um, let's go with really doesn't matter what and we can get a piece of machinery can't we um, or we could lease something I guess it really doesn't matter does it let's just lease that shall we where does it actually put the machinery when you lease it or buy it or whatever where does it actually spawn well I'm hoping it's around the back here oh there we go big open area and we've got plenty of room for getting out as well down the side so I have no problem with machinery puts it a nice distance away from the buildings as well so you can actually get to the stuff we have had a few maps of late where when vehicles spawn they're up close to buildings and fences and various different things it's not always easy to get stuff out it's not something always I always look for um, but I, I, I guess I should do really a bit more often um, often I'll do reset points and I don't think about where the machinery actually spawns so we're going to head south again now so we're kind of if we carry on going it's going to take us right to the eastern side of the map but the next road we want to take is here heading south so we've got another bales barn cell point just to the right i'm just looking at my map to the bottom coming up on it just there i'm going to check just to make sure i've got that wrong so we've come along animal dealer bales truck stop shop North Cell Point, yeah, Bales, there we go. So we're going to head south again now. And it's what I'm talking about, these, these kind of farm areas that are dotted about. They don't actually have um, any silos on them, any triggers or anything like that. There's no machinery, but the buildings are there and the barns are all usable. So if you did want to decide, you know, but like I say, the only problem is the, the sleep through the night trigger. But I guess you could set it all up and if you were going to sleep through the night, you could just jump across to the... To the other farm if you wanted to do that it still allows you the ability to sleep through doesn't it but just obviously for a narrative or storyline doesn't necessarily do it the way you want it to but you know regardless plenty of room so if you do want to place bits and bobs that shouldn't be a problem i say shouldn't be a problem and you've already got buildings on there which is nice like so continuing south So again, my mind's already racing. If I was going to come on here, how would I start? What would I be doing? What's my end goal? What do I want to achieve? What, you know, do I want to run animals? What animals would I run on here? Would I run seasons on it? This is fully seasons compatible. Nice segue. That was completely by accident. I forgot about the seasons bit, but it is fully seasons compatible. Sorry, Lance boy. <laughs> Should have jumped on that straight away. But uh, yeah, more barns and building space here. We have got another farm silo up around the back here I think this is the smaller ones this is the hundred thousand litre one just there but again plenty of building space and houses and oh, I don't know, various different stuff and then we've got another one just over there to the left too with a huge place up there next that one too So yeah, again, I suppose if you wanted to go with some kind of storyline or narrative, you could add some extra cell points in if you wanted to put cell points in or, you know, I don't know a garden centre or stuff. I guess, again, you've got that situation. If you're looking at slots and slot counts, can you afford to be using slots for... This is on console, obviously. Um, for putting in extra kind of cell points and, and bells and whistles if you want to be using it for the farming it's a you know it's, it's always that's always the toss up on any map you know how do you go about doing it how much do you want to give up for adding a bit of immersion or not immersion because there's immersion already i'm talking about kind of your own your own bit of you know your own flair to it to make it your own personal kind of thing um so right carry on south and we're going to come to sorry it didn't stop we're going to come to the 
cow farm, I think it is. Field six we own on New Farmer off the off the bat. Well you do on all of them actually. I do like the fact as well, like all the animal stuff on here is all custom made. Again, it's not that just plonked down, look, you know, here's a generic cow barn, here's a generic, you know, it fits, it works. And these are ones I I haven't ever seen before, not on console anyway. Um, the buildings are completely different, which again, something I really like about this. So, in this one here, we've got our trigger there. Um, we've got feed trough, straw point I think is in the middle here. Um, we've got water trough just there. And we've got one... Is that feed trough there? No, cattle grid. Um, so we've got one pasture off to the left here. So this one here ties up with this one. And then we've got this one over here. Where was the trigger for this one? These are, these are food and hay and the rest of it. I'm sure it was round here, wasn't it? So I'd like to say, I've had a quick look. Certain points I wanted to get right. Um, and the pasture for this one is out through here. So you've got two separate buildings that will take two separate amounts. So if you were going to run seasons, you could maybe have dairy and beef and keep them separate. Or you could have your kind of your young goes into one. I mean, there's so many different options and ways you can do this. Um, but again, I like that as an option. And what is cool is the main farm. Is that the main farm? Am I looking at the map wrong? Hang on. Yeah, the main farm that we started on is just over there. So, you know, you could kind of link the two up. Uh, water trough just around there. Uh, the milk points. There's one there. Oh, there you go. There's one for milk, that one. Where was the one for this one? Oh yeah, just around the outside there. We've got a nice bunker silo just there. Building space there for uh, bale storage or whatever you want to do. I know I keep repeating myself, but there, there really is no shortage of um, of building space and storage space. And it's all something different, which I like. I like a lot. Slurry pit, just there. Very cool. That's your cows. So we're going to continue south. I think we've only got three, three more south points. And what haven't we seen yet as well? Sheep. There are no horses. Have I missed them? There are no horses on here, I don't think. That's just suddenly struck me. So, we are now down towards the southern part of the map, and we're going to be heading west again. So, or was that the building I could see from over there? Was I looking the wrong way? Yeah, it might have been. Spinnery, just here, so for your wool, cotton, etc. And the cell point is just around the back. Um, actually, you know what? I'll show you. The cell point is round. Oh, that's a lot of, uh, lot of cotton. Just around there. See, that's the other beauty with doing um, a, an American map. Um, generally speaking, that kind of the purists and whatnot, I kind of shy away from doing... I know I did it on Marwell Manor right off, off the bat, but... Um, I shy away from doing cotton on English maps because of that reason. We don't really do cotton in the UK. Um, and it's something I do like doing every now and again, so it'd be nice to get back onto an American map and do some cotton too, which I, I kind of haven't done. Yeah, look, the, the grain dryer's going again. You can see the all the dust and stuff coming off it. Very cool. So, this cell point is going to be... <laughs> Fingers crossed. South cell point. 
I think. Pretty sure it is. Just here. And a little bit further along, we've got the sheep farm. We have got the sheep farm, yes. Which is just here, to our right. Again, all custom stuff. All something different, we haven't come across before. It serves the same function, there's plenty of space. Lighting, and doors, and you know, all the stuff that we've come to expect, but it's all here. So our trigger for loading, unloading, buying or selling um, is not that one. I think that's the Wallspawn pallet. Where was it? It was over here. This one here. So for buying, selling, loading or unloading is just there. More light switches. Plenty of space for storage of bales or feed or whatever you're going to be doing. Machinery and vehicles. The pasture is round here. With our feed trigger just there. I think the... oh yeah, the water triggers is there. Right in front of me. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. That looks like a nice um, wall point as well. Some of them are only for four. And sometimes the ones for four pallets only do two and then say they're full. But that looks like a nice size one as well. nice as well that we haven't got all the same sound effects on all the doors you know you often find that can be a, a thing that's just easier to have one sound effect across the map and but I like the fact they're all different you know nice um, now just off a little bit further to the west along this road we have got another farm but it's another one of those ones there's nothing actually on it but again there is the potential that if you wanted to use it you could I think it's along this road, or did I dream it? No, it's definitely on this road. There we go. So, back to the main road heading north, or one of the main roads heading north. And I think we've got one more point to look at, and I think it's a silo. I don't think it's a cell point. Uh, I think it's the third of the silos. And then it'll be back up that road and we're back to the main farm. But I hope you kind of get a feel, you know. Which is half, you know, at least half the point of, of, of the tour. Or the look round or the review or however you want to refer to it, you know. Like I say, I prefer to get more of his information sharing, helping out. I don't always get everything. I don't always share all the information because sometimes I miss things. It's just... It is the way it is, there's a lot to take in, there's a lot of information to kind of try and keep stored in your head while you go around, but we have got the last of the silos just there, which is a larger one, so it's a 200,000 that you want. The silos all take the main crop types, um, and I think those ones are modded ones in that they will take the extra rye, whereas I don't think the standard ones, well maybe they do, um, the placeables, but those ones are modded. Yeah, I'm starting to think those actually are just aesthetic, aren't they? because the, the things on those are a little bit blurred, I think, compared to the usual ones. So, yeah, potentially at the main farm they weren't. So, where are we on the map? Well, we come all the way down. Zoom out a bit. Past the cows, across the bottom, spinnery, south cell point, sheep along to the end farm. We've now come back along and we're up here at the next of the silos, and then it's just a trek up here, back to the main farm where we started with our sleep trigger. Um... What we are going to do, actually, as I just passed this field on my right, again, it's almost like I planned it. Um, what this also has is a, well, apart from various different custom textures and things like that, this has um, a custom crop. So it's got corn, but when you harvest the corn, 
you get um, corn stalks with the, like the corn residue on the ground, which I'm going to show you now. Pretty cool. I like that. Um, again, something a little bit different. It, you know, it's it's nice to have something different. I mean, that that really, in essence, is it. You know, it's pretty cool. I like it, and I I'm seriously considering now, considering my options. But that's it. That Stone Valley by Lancy Boy. And again, thank you to all the people listed. Uh, no, sorry, I can't, I'm not going to read them all out. But all the people listed um, that have helped out on this. It is, it is a long and distinguished list. As I said at the start, a lot of very well-known names in that list. Um, and what I'm pleased about, I know a little while ago, um, I, don't know if it, I don't think it was an April Fool or anything like that, but Lancy Boy had posted that he wasn't going to do maps anymore or he'd stopped or was going to have a break. Or, it, I'm glad he's back. I'm glad he's, you know, it's, he's still going because what he does, he does very well. Um, now, like I said before, is it going to be without its issues? I can't say for certain. I'm not going to say it's by any means perfect. I would love to say it's perfect, but I know if I do that, people will say, well, I found, you know, so, I, you know. But I like it. I think it's brilliant. Um, there is a lot of room for manoeuvre. There's a lot of room for altering things off the start. So like I said before, if you don't want to start with a high slot count, you can get rid of a few of the bits and bobs here. You can bring that right down. Um, and it does give you scope for some really nice gameplay. If you've been looking for a nice, big, open American-style map, this could be the one for you. Very nice indeed. So there you go. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.